what role do autonomy and additive manufacturing play in strengthening U.S. defense industrial base? And how has that changed specifically over the last few years? That's a great question. The way I see autonomy is how do we increase soldier survivability? How do we get them away from the front lines of combat as much as possible? The additive manufacturing component enables us to build much faster than having to depend on bespoke custom components because the thing that China is beating us on right now is just their massive scale. And in order for us to get to that level, we need companies like Wills that could quickly build solid rocket motors that expands the defense industrial base. And then you combine that scale with advanced capabilities to enable our warfighters to be more powerful, to obtain that overmatch, and to get them out of harm's way. Everything we're doing at our company, I know for Will and Steve as well, is getting those soldiers outside, those warfighters outside of those front lines to increase the distance of engagement. And the way you do that is through autonomous systems that could go and think on their own, find targets, hunter-killer modes, or at the very least, a human in the loop that doesn't actually have to be in that trench over there.